Hi everybody, now it's time for us to practice the moves that we have to do in order to move from the red striped belt to the next level, the brown striped belt. It's my favorite of all the karate basics, number five, the side kick. Now last week we were working on that step behind side kick. Today we're going to focus on building up our muscles nice and strong so that we have a good, powerful side kick. For this exercise we're going to be using a chair. You guys can use a chair at home edge of the couch, the counter, the wall, anything that you can put your hand on so that you can use that to balance and all of your attention can be focused on just doing the exercise along with us. So if you've got one of those things, go ahead and grab it so you can follow along. So what Miss Stephanie's going to do here, she's going to take her right hand, she's going to use that to hold on to the chair for her balance, her left hand's going to come up, and instead of doing a, a front kick or round kick position, She's going to bring her knee in for side kick. So you'll notice in the side kick position, uh, her target is in front of us, or front of her, like this, and the bottom of her foot is shining, almost like a flashlight towards the target. And what we're going to do here is we're going to slowly take this foot, we're going to push, push out, kick out, 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 until it's all the way straight. She's going to hold it here until I say back, and when I say back, she's going to bring it back in, just like that. And we're going to go real slow, so that we can really build up the muscle. We're going to try to do five on each leg. Let's go ahead and do it. Everybody pick up your leg, side kick position, remember one hand's on the chair, other hand's on the chin, and we're going to slowly kick out until we're all the way out, we're going to hold it there. Ready? Kick out, whoop, and then we're going to hold our foot there. Bring it back in. Say one side. Slowly kick out. And bring it back in. Two steps. Very good. Ready? Out. Miss Stephanie's hitting with the bottom of her foot. Back in. Three steps. Uh-huh. Ready? Out. Back in. Four steps. Good. And you notice that when she comes back in that her knee moves in because she's pushing with her whole leg. You don't want just your foot to come back, you want your whole leg to come in. Ready, last one, out. Now her leg is straight towards the target, and then back in. Back Just like that, and put your foot down. If you do it the right way, you'll start to feel those muscles in your hips get nice and strong, okay? So let's pick up our other leg now. Our left hand's on the chair, right hand's by the chin, right leg up in the air. You'll notice that Miss Stephanie's doing my favorite thing, which is the pivot. Her bottom foot here is pointing its toes towards the chair. The heel of that foot is pointing towards me, the target. And when she kicks out, this heel is going to be moving towards the target too. Okay? So here we go. Nice and slow. Ready? Out. Slowly back in. One step. Slowly out. And back in. Very good. And remember, the higher you can hold your foot, the better your side kick is going to be. Here comes number three. Ready? Out. Back in. Three steps. Good. Ready? Out. And back in. Four steps. All right. Here comes the last one. Try to hold it as high as you can. Ready? Out. Hold it there. Back in. All right, excellent, okay? That exercise, sometimes it can feel a little bit boring, it's slow side kicks, but I'll tell you that that's the best way to have a good, strong side kick. So as you're practicing at home, try to do slow side kicks every day. Maybe you can start with doing just five, or if you want to be really advanced, you can try to do 10 slow side kicks every day. But just like everything else that we practice, make sure you do them with your left, and your right leg. We want ourselves to be nice and balanced. You don't want one leg to be super good and the other one not so much. Always want to be balanced. All right, good work. Now stick around as uh, I count off for the whole Karate Basic number five, the sidekick. Great work on the curriculum section. Now it's time for us to practice. Please follow along with my count in the next section. All right, red stripe belts, let's practice karate basic number five. Attention! Step to the left with a loud yelling, Junbi! Side kick, go! 
Step behind sidekick. Go! Loud yell. Turn! Sidekick. Go! Step behind sidekick. Go! Turn! Attention! And bow. Let's practice again. Attention! Step to the left with a loud yell. Junbi! Side kick. Go! Step behind side kick. Go! Turn! Side kick. Go! Step behind side kick. Go! Turn! Attention! And bow! Final practice. Attention. Bow. To the left, Jumbi stance. Aya. Side kick. Go. Step behind. Side kick. Go. Turn. Side kick. Go. Step behind. Side kick. Go. Loud yell, turn, attention, and bow. Great job with the practice section. Remember parents, you can take a video of a student's practicing during that section and send it to us. We'll be able to get back to you with some personal feedback and advice on how to get even better. See you next class.